A Toronto judge will render his verdict tomorrow on sex crime charges against a former Upper Canada College teacher. 55-year-old Douglas Brown is facing 11 counts of indecent assault and one count of gross indecency. He's pleaded not guilty to all charges related to the alleged attacks on seven former students. Yesterday, Crown Attorney Warren Thompson made his closing address to Justice Harry LaForme. And our legal analyst, Joseph Newberger, has been following this case for us since it began. Good morning. Good morning. We have seven former students testifying against Douglas Brown. Does the defense have a case at all? It's extremely difficult in a case, especially of a historical sexual assault case, where an individual is facing not one, not two, but several complainants. Seven is extremely difficult. Uh, the Crown will have a much more compelling case when they can utilize the evidence from seven witnesses and try and bolster each allegation. When a case is so old, it's very difficult simply because of reliability. Is memory the same over time? Person's perceptions or memory of what has happened has faded over time. It may be replaced by what they thought happened as opposed to what actually did happen. However, when you have seven complainants come forward with similar testimony, testifying as to similar allegations, this is very powerful for the Crown case. Now, what the defense has to do is, first of all, the tactic is do you uh, proceed before a judge alone or are you going to have a judge in jury trial? Justice LaForme is known to be a very fair, competent, and intelligent judge. You will then attack the reliability of each witness. You want to take a look at their ability to perceive all the constellation of facts which come to the case. Uh, what has happened to these people over the years? Is there something about uh, their current life or the way they uh, remember things which will detract from their memories? And somehow, if you can attack each and every case, one of those seven start to pull a thread through them. That may be helpful to the defense. In addition, you want to see how the allegations come out. So in this case as well, you want to work on uh, sort of the unfolding of the allegations by each complainant if there's a situation where there's been some collusion or collaboration of witnesses or evidence. These are very important factors to attack on. But it is an extremely difficult task for a defense lawyer to try and uh, convince a judge or a jury that uh, this individual is not guilty of all of the charges. And when you're in a trial, it may uh, be a situation where a judge takes a look at each and every allegation. And there may be a situation where the judge says, you know, on counts one through whatever, we have sufficient evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. But on these counts, it doesn't meet that threshold. It is suspicious. It's compelling. But it doesn't meet the threshold of uh, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, so Brown took the uh, stand in his own defense. How did he do? Well, uh, I don't like to comment on the evidence prior to the uh, justice rendering his decision. However, it is a very difficult uh, process for an individual to testify in this type of a case. And uh, from what I understand from the evidence, he certainly uh, held his ground. However, there was some new evidence which arose from his testimony. Um, and frankly, when, when one individual is facing seven accusers, um, it's a situation where an individual will, will sometimes just look like they're not telling the truth. Now, you, you mentioned that new information. That came to light while Brown was on the stand, and the judge was pretty critical of the Crown about uh, non-disclosure. Will that have an impact? It, it, it may have an impact at this trial or may even have an impact uh, if there's an appeal. Um, it's, it, it's common sometimes once an accused takes the stand for the Crown to then say there's some new evidence arising from that testimony and then try and either deal with it by way of reply evidence or try and, um, and, and even interject somehow during the course of the uh, testimony of the accused. And, and uh, Justice LaForme is an extremely fair judge. Uh, evidence which ought to have been properly part of the Crown's case, evidence that ought to have been disclosed, can sometimes cause a mistrial. Once an accused testifies, they have put themselves on those allegations. They have given their version. You can't take back what they've said. You have cross-examined witnesses for the Crown on a theory that the defense has worked on. As such, once evidence arises which the Crown ought to have had or ought to have disclosed, it can severely prejudice an accused in his defense. This could factor in in raising a reasonable doubt on various counts. It could factor in uh, possibly if, if uh, there is a conviction on how this will be dealt with by way of an appeal.